I put remote start on a kid's ATV. What happens when your buddy gets a free Chinese ATV that's 12 years old that is incredibly unsafe because you can't stop the engine without pulling the spark plug and possibly burning your hand? Well, you get a new wiring kit. What happens when that ATV is 12 years old and no wiring kit matches exactly to the engine? You rewire the stator and you be on your way. Hey, thanks for joining me back on the channel here as I show a few of the basics of a Chinese ATV wiring harness. I know it's been a little while, but two hard operations and at least one confirmed stroke later, and you haven't killed me yet. But I've got this cool refreshing can of Fresca to enjoy. Well, a little drain damage never hurt anyone, right? Left. I'm not going to go into all the details, because, and this is really just covering the wiring harness itself. Buddy's leaving his little uh, Chinese ATV out here. He's got a couple problems with it. It was working smooth, but then he was showboating, hit something, big bump, and uh, it's been kind of problematic ever since. So I bought a new wiring harness for a Chinese ATV. Uh, this particular ATV is about 12 years old. I haven't even been able to find the make and model online for whatever it is. It says BMX. A lot of people just say, get one of the, the wiring kits. It'll work. I'll go over really quick the wiring kit, but I'll just show you that uh, this wiring kit is a bit different than the one that I purchased. Uh, what I will say is if you're about to order a wiring kit you have not already, open up the, the cover for the stator and check to see if you're going to be looking at a 2 coil or a 6 coil. Uh, the one that I bought in the pack came with a 2 coil, however I'm just going to be using the old stator that's in here and in order to do so I needed a 6.23 millimeter uh, little wiring clip. So this, uh, the only things I'm going to be reusing because they didn't come with the wiring harness, uh, the large, the long large wire for the starter, I'm going to be keeping the starter in here, and then that's going to be coming up to the solenoid, and uh, the battery. And uh, aside from that I'm going to be taking off everything else, and everything else should be coming here in the wiring kit. Uh, before I um, before I'm going to be putting it on the ATV here, I wanted to hook everything up in the right order, make sure that things were working. So I've got a kill switch uh, back here, kill switch up here, kill switch over here, and some keys. Once this ATV got uh, started running, you couldn't stop it. And that's the problem with a ATV for a child. You probably want to stop it. I put a new carb on there, tuned it up, the thing fires up just fine, but it doesn't stop. So, if you bought one of these kits, I'll just show you where to connect the parts and I labeled a few things here in case it would be easier for you. Uh, the kit itself is not the same as the, the original ATV wiring. Just a quick shot of the wiring harnesses side by side. You've got your CDI, regulator, coil all in the back going to the battery and in the back here you have your parental control, your CDI, your horn, and uh, very long, I'm glad it's going to be long, uh, um, solenoid going up to your starter. A lot of the stuff that's in the back is now in the front. Some of the stuff that's in the front is now in the back. So I have the parental control remote receiver uh, in the front for this one, and for the new wiring harness it's going to be in the rear. And then, as you see the, the wiring wiring harness up here, this is going to be the front for the, uh, the handlebar and the ignition. And then in the back has more parental control and CDI. So, with the wiring harness, your voltage regulator, hopefully you can see this here. It's got some fins on there, kind of cool down. This is going to be the yellow, red, white, and green wire. So plug that in there. The parental control, uh, the remote receiver, is going to be a kind of, what is it, like a nine pin housing terminal, but that'll be the orange and brown, and uh, well, just this box right here, hooks up to the horn, will be going to 
Here we go. Uh, a couple, a solid red, a red with yellow, and then a brown, a black with white, some green, and then a green with black stripes. So that connects over here. The two whites coming out here, just going to be your horn. And then your battery terminal. Uh, I did cut these off of where they were. They were just kind of secured in here. Um, and kind of difficult to move around just because of the, the way I'm going to be wiring things up. Uh, the red terminal is going to be coming out here. And then this is the new solenoid. There it is, you can see the labeling. Solenoid. Solenoid, one of the easiest ways to test it is you just put uh, a connection between the two points on the solenoid and you should be able to jump start, jump start uh, whatever project you're working on the engine. And then you've got the pink and then the yellow wire that will be connecting in to the red and the green. Uh, the red with the yellow stripe and the green wire go through the harness and then they'll be coming up here to the front, red and green, and that goes into the blue and the brown which comes up to what should be the starter button on the inside here. So now that we're on the front, you have your ignition coil. The ignition coil should just be coming through with a yellow wire and a green wire, loose with bullet terminals. Bullet terminals just sort of look like this. One plugs into another hole area. And then off of the ignition coil here should be your spark plug. The, let's see, we've got a CDI. Uh, smeared a little bit, but you've got your CDI in here. This should be out for kind of a six pin terminal. And you should be looking at red to black with white, sorry, red with black stripe, black with white stripe, green up on the top. Snap that guy in place. Six terminal. Then you have your key, and your key is going to be red, green black and black with white stripe connecting to a four pin with a green black uh, black stripe with green and then black and red and then that will be your ignition switch or key so I'm going to throw all of this stuff on here uh, minus the satter which I'm reusing the one inside of here which has six coils uh, this housing right here, this terminal, did not come with this kit. I'll say that it used to come with these bullets, bullet terminals on there, and I cut those off with uh, just a wire clip and then put on my own terminal. And then uh, fire this guy up. Hopefully I'll be able to use a little bit more than the key itself. Also for the remote, if you have the remote, the battery itself is going to be A27 for this particular kit, A27. Bingo! I've got this little ATV back together now. Got the new carb sitting in there. Couple different ways to kill it for safety on kids, for safety with kids. And then I've got remote start working as well. So, I'm going to give that back to the buddy. Hopefully he'll be able to uh, use it with his kid. I also fixed up a few other things. I had some uh, broken, there were some broken parts along the way. So, hope you enjoyed the video here. And I uh, hope you get yours working with the push button start. And hope you have a great day.